Hello, wow. Dobro jutro, Slovenia. Kako ste kaj? <laughs> well, thank you for having me here. Creative morning. I hope creative good morning. Let's see. Yeah, Gregor told something about me. I'm going to say something more. Um, I'm Alexander. Uh, started my... Um, Business advertising business with with um, moving images, then studied graphic design. Some yeah, ten years ago I um, teamed up with Service Plan, and now there am I. I've, and um, yeah, how I'm feeling? <laughs> Every time someone is asking me, can you do a talk? It's a little bit like this. Yes, of course. And then this is happening. <laughs> so I'm excited. <laughs> Um, so let's see. Where um, I am working is um, Service Plan. It's an independent agency um, found 1971, and it's still independent. Um, founded by uh, a Swiss guy, Dr. Peter Haller, and now is led by his son. So it's a family business. Um, as I started working there, we were like, I think, 250 people in Munich only, and now it's a little bit different. 2,100 employees in 14 offices in 11 countries. So that's really getting big. We have offices in Hamburg, in, in, in Berlin, in Frankfurt, but then going to Paris, Dubai, India, even Peking. So this is really good, 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 good change that is happening there. And yeah, being a part of it is quite, quite cool. So to give you an impression where I work, it's just the normal working uh, route. This is the Glypothek, it's an old museum. Then we go to the Limba House. This is my normal route to, to the office. Good museum, nice neighborhood to sit outside and have good ideas. There we go inside, a bunch of bicycles. This is mainly our um, own private um, conference room, mostly in summer, because we're in the basement, so uh, it's, it's <laughs> yeah, nearby. This is Sheila saying hello. There we have much, much art. The, the founder has a great, great art collection. So we have some prize collections too, showing off a little bit, but yeah, that's like it. I don't know, it's the English rumbling in the box or something. You have to do this. Yeah, Marike doesn't want to be on photograph. And this is the most, the most, uh, most um, best asset we have, the t tabletop tennis plate, and the guy is watching the game. So, with these guys, I was working the last eight, ten years um, the most. Christoph, I'm still working with him. Cosimo in the middle is my team partner um, for, for, for text. He was three years ago. We um, go to separate ways, in good ways. <laughs> and Matthäus, who is now in um, Chicago. He's the designer and um, creative director I made the most with, it, with him. So, if that you know that we are talk what I mean when I'm talking about we. So service plan campaign three, this is, yeah, we are fi 55 people, so within these 2,100, so it's not that big. Just a quite normal um, ad agency. Doing normal stuff like selling uh, mobile phones, doing stuff for Intel, selling schnapps, selling milk, selling gold, selling burgers, and sometimes we do really weird stuff. So I meet these both nice ladies, and we even do much more cheaper type on it. So this is all this advertising business we do daily. Um, but what drives us um, in service plan, so we, we took these th uh, three letters, SPC3. So there are three campaigns, um, classical campaign agencies. There are digital agencies, research agencies, media agencies. So three of, of, of classical things. And we said, OK, we want to do the things like that with simplicity, with power, and with craft, and not with three times, so with 3,000 times power. And yeah, this is what the agency is and what, 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 what drives me. Um, this is always. <laughs> 
Interesting. I, I don't think so much about that, but but uh, on an occasion like this, if, I, if you're setting up an agenda, I, say, I, t I talk to Gregor and then, yeah, maybe I can, can talk about that, but I didn't have an answer. And um, then I remembered something that was like eight years ago, I was on a project, um, just a little um, advertising award, online stars, called an online award, and there were stars and we were making up our minds on that. And there was this idea to sort something, and I found this, it's like just rough, rough um, animation. This was the idea to sort something, and you fly around with the camera, and then the chaos is being organized. And we proposed it to the client, and well, everyone was curious on that idea because it was so simple and cool, but yeah, there was no budget, there was no moving images, we just make a poster, and that um, the idea was, um, yeah, died somehow, or was just passed. And two weeks later, um, this was the time Hamburg just teamed up, and there were um, two great guys, um, Mike and Christoph, which were in the same age as Cosimo and me, and we always challenged us a little bit. So, what are you doing? And this was really good creative collaboration on, in, in, in terms of um, exchange and things. And he said, well, Alex, I have something. And then he sent it to me, and this is a, somehow my face. Um, because I think everyone in this room knows it. Um, <laughs> uh, this feeling of, oh, I should have done that. And I will show it. This is the only work that um, was from our agency, which I have not done um, um, in, this, in, this, in this speak, in this talk. But I think it's still... Um, it's from 2009, I think, but it's still one of the one of the best work that 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 have, that are, uh, that have been done from from Service Plan. From March the 14th to April the 26th, Hamburg's biggest museum for modern art hosted the LEAD Awards exhibition of visual leaders, the most important exhibition for photography and print media in Germany. The show featured a giant installation which asked visitors to look at the exhibits from different points of view. 144 balls. A pretty chaotic structure. When you look at it from two marked positions, the chaos becomes a message. From the one point, pro. But if you go to the other position, you see that this one thing can, at the same time, be the opposite. So we ask people to get both points of view and rethink their opinions. For six weeks, we showed tens of thousands of people where there's a pro, there's also a contra. Yeah, well, <laughs> I. Uh... Yeah, so maybe you can understand what I was feeling like. So that's 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 the worst feeling. I think losing a pitch and all this stuff, but being close to something and someone is doing it better—that's hard, really hard. So um, this is the German proverb: "So bring the horsepower to the street." I don't know if you, if you get it. So just yeah, this was my feeling about it. So no more good ideas that are all just not 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 um, not finished or. Yeah, there are so many occasions to do something, and um, I wanted to finish that. So, this brings me to my work. Topic is ink for creative mornings, and so I brought you some some inky ideas. I try to sort my my ideas like that. So, starting <laughs> some um, alcoholic ink. <laughs> Alcohol is always or <laughs> sometimes a good start, even after a party. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, um, this is Dr. Müller's Quince Brandy, and Dr. Müller is um, the father um, of Cosimo. And, and he came to me and said, hey, Alex, you're a graphic designer. I, I'm, um, I'm, 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 I'm brewing this Quince Brandy, this liquor, um, by myself, and I want to have a label. And this is always happening. And I said, yeah, OK, cool. Um, I'll do it, and he wanted it for Christmas to to give it to um, to give it to his um, relatives, and we we yeah made a label, and but we 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 were going further, and um, said okay, let's see what 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 is, what can we do with it, and it's what's was like more like a schnapps idee, so this is just a silly idea in in, in Germany, um, and we made this packaging, so because we had the time we had the, 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 the possibilities, we found the gla glass blower and put all this liquor in it. And um, uh, everyone liked it, and we said, okay, let's, let's see, let's send this to Cannes. And nobody, we had one uh, line um, there, and never, I, I, I thought it was impossible to do it. Um, but then we won silver with this one. And so, okay. <laughs> Well, cool. That that seems to be a playing field where we can just just experimentize and prove ourselves. And there, this, uh, the next um, slide you see there was a nice receipt, Cosimo write, uh, written because it was, it was a design line, and he always said his, it won because of the copy writing, of course. Um, and so we, we, we proceeded to the next year. We made an, uh, a really convenient idea out of it. So every time you press the, the pipette, you have the perfect amount to cheer and have the right medicine, because alcohol is medicine. That's the basic thought. And this was the last work we did for him. This is the 10 years edition. So Dr. Möller says every year is tasting different. I don't think so. but. Yeah, medicine is medicine. And so we were on the creative weekend with our, with our agency, and um, I think um, drinking alcohol and um, thinking about ideas, maybe, <laughs> it's not, yeah, it's, it's cle pretty clear where it leads to. So we made a percentage mailing, um, because we found out the, the client that we had at a bank, um, they have sell certificates um, for the stock market, and this person um, is the same um, as some wines. And so just out of this idea, this was a nice little one. Won some awards, not so many, but I like it a lot. It's nice packaging and quite, quite, quite interesting. So, ink of pleasure. Mm. We had a client that was selling, selling books. And um, so, not, not novels. Yeah, well, novels, he will say novels, but it's more like a pulp fiction um, uh, um, bookseller. And Slave of Your Tenderness, it's, it's this book here. I found the dummy that we, that we made. And it's really cheap literature, and he wanted to have a um, promotion that he can sell in to the, to the book traders um, more and better. And there were, yeah, this is the cover, S slave of your pleasure. Whoa, such a lot. Well known. Um, so we used a really, really um, mechanic that is um, used to, 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 the, uh, to the booksellers. It's a um, pre um, reading example. But um, this thing is, yeah, it has to shed you, um, uh, 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 give, give you cheers, and it's very moist, moist literature, I think. And there was this idea, so let's solve this. We print this on tissues. So, yes, that you can wipe away all the tears and all the fluid that you're, yeah, evolving while reading that. So I found this. We moved in the agent, within the agency, and I found this dummy two weeks ago. This idea here was, was, was service plan stamp on it. Um, yeah, and ink, and, and skin. Tattooing is the next thing. There was a contact from, from, from a graphic designer, Matthias, 
to a tattoo studio, and he was really kind of into it. And uh, there was this idea to, to, yeah, the medium is the message that is always sometimes sad, and it's, um, I think here it's quite, quite cool to do it. The, we just said, okay, um, showing what you do is the most basic thing of advertising, and doing it brilliantly is, the, is, is then really good advertising too. And there was just the, the idea to, to have a tattooed poster on real skin, so this is the guy from the Chaos Crew Tattoo Studio. And we tattooed a whole poster, a whole city light billboard, um, with a basic idea. So this is the whole thing on a cow leather, cow skin. So they are practicing on it, so it's, uh, used to, to, uh, they're used to it. We, we got this cow skin. I thought it was really smelling, but it was, was quite good. And um, this was the motto we gave, we get history under your skin. And so we um, focused on different incidents in this year. So there was Fukushima, Messi, uh, Osama Bin Laden, Ding Dong. Hello, here's the US, just wanted to talk to you. And some Greek crisis, um, Anders Breivik and Amy Winehouse being catched by an angel and yeah famous Dallas Nowitzki Mavericks one when it was in this year. So this was is it basically? And that's interesting because we um, this is a small client but it really, really worked out for him. So he got inquiries from all over the world. They wanted to have this, this thing and his business really rise up. So have a look on it. A lot of the social media and the satellites have been shut down by the government. The national fears intensify about a possible nuclear meltdown at a power plant. The United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al Qaeda. Back to Novitsky, lefty layup, backs it in, and the game is tied. The future of Greece's government hanging on a vote of confidence later today. It's the latest complication in that country's debt crisis. Reporting now that singer songwriter Amy Winehouse has been found dead in her apartment in North London. On an island, a man dressed as a policeman approached a crowd of youths attending a summer camp. He pulled out an automatic weapon and sprayed them with bullets. Several hundred faithful protesters continue to camp out at a park near Wall Street. News Apple says the company's co founder Steve Jobs has died. Ink for Freedom. We have several um, social, social clients, Reporter Without Borders, one of them, and they asked us um, for an invitation to a press conference for Human Rights Day. And I think it's a very simple idea. It's fast told. We thought about who is in prison, who has to come aware of that. It was Enulia Vatulayev these days. And we put him on the stamp. That's not so special. But in Austria, it's possible to have a postmark, a special postmark designed. And we made a special postmark for the days of human rights and set him in prison, which he is not supposed to be because he's just writing stuff. And this 
we send out, and you have to open a post office for one day. That's really cool. There's your post office for your postmark. And we never thought about it. We just said, yeah, okay, it's going to the um, reporters and to the, we, to the invitations. And there were like 30 people stand, standing there from around Europe um, just to get this postmark there. This was quite cool. This was our first D and AD nomination. Um, yeah, quiet little work, but I, but I like it a lot. And he's free now. So, no ink, just dreaming. Um, the Dream On app for Client O2 and the uh, refugee um, organization of the UN. Um, yeah, O2 is always asking, yeah, let's be digital, we have to do something. And um, yeah, we had this idea of um, dreaming and doing good. And I, sh I think the, the, the case film will explain it really good. Everyone dreams of a better world. But can you also dream for a better world? Now you can. Together with O2, we developed an alarm app for the UN Refugee Agency, where you can easily donate while sleeping. Each time you decide to sleep longer, you can press the Dream On snooze button. And while you are able to stay longer in bed, 10 cents get transferred directly to the UN Refugee Agency, helping those people who don't even have a place to sleep. People who donate can share their Dream On activity on Facebook and Twitter. Since the app's release, more and more people snooze for good every day and the amount of money grows by each snooze. So if you dream of a better world, do something. Dream on. So you can download it in the, in the App Store. Yeah, use less ink. The Auchan self-scan report. Um, with the Italian guys from Service Plan, we have a good collaboration. We always help out um, on certain projects, and we have uh, um, two clients which are pretty, pretty similar. So this is Auchan in Italy, and we have another um, supermarket chain in, 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 in Germany, so it's, it's quite a good collaboration with them. And for them, we, 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 we got a briefing. They, they have this sustainability report of them to be done, and sustainability this year was a um, really, really huge, huge topic. And I worked several years on a, um, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a on a sustainable bank, and we always said, okay, why is this sustainable report so unsustainable in printing all this stuff on paper? And this was the idea that so which paper is is really necessary for a supermarket, and you have which which one they have to use. This is the receipt that comes out of the cash register. So, and this is a nice starting point for a conversation or communication. So you get it anyway, and this is the sustainability report. And this is only the only paper that you have. You have a barcode, just like in the cash register, and you can um, have a, you have an app, you download it, and for each chapter, you're, um, you can scan it and be directly to the, to the topics that you're interested in. So, like this, it was sent out to journalists and the client get it just where it comes from, just at the cashier. How many pages are required for a sustainability report for one of the biggest hypermarket chains in Europe? We say, just one. That's why we developed a sustainability report for our client Oshan that fits on a single receipt. By employing this integral part of our client's business, we reached our customers directly at the checkout. Using a scan app, everyone was able to easily access information about how sustainable Oshan really works.
Moreover, it allowed us to answer the questions of our customers. We also sent our report to business partners and journalists and achieved a great response throughout the media. The result? At the same time, we reached more people and used less paper than ever before. The self scan Report. Sustainability out of the cash register. Yeah, and this leads us to this stage. Seeing the work on this stage is <laughs> quite amazing, or unbelievable, but it was true. It was a Grand Prix in Cannes. It was the second Grand Prix. Um, the year before, we won, won two, and it, uh, yeah, it was like, like, like not really um, believable, but with which work? The Solar Powered Ink. So I'm going to tell you some some deeper thoughts on about that. The Austria Solar Annual Report. Um, this was a collaboration with the Austrian guys. They they opened up an office and uh, we, we we helped them out on this one. So um, this was the the year before the sustainability report for 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 Auchan. We. Um, yeah, so, sorry, it's, I mix it up. <laughs> this is the subtitle. I like big butts. Uh, sorry for that, but <laughs> there were so much butts in this in this in this project. Um, I'm, I'm going to tell you. Um, yeah, we sat outside on the on the deck chairs, Cosimo and me. So this is not Cosimo, but I took this picture, and we're thinking of this on this on this on this project. So they, they are an, ag uh, an agency or, or an institution that is handling solar power, and we had an ice character orange, and looking at the sun, and thought, uh, thinking about how to get this 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 solar power in, into a report into a paper, and basically it was, was we, we we were thinking about the solar power billboards a lot of uh, a lot of times, but never never made a really good 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 idea of it. But this time, someone something the, the the sun was blinding us on the paper, and it was white, and and suddenly where there was this idea, a report that is only readable in the sun. So we print with an ink that is. Um, Photochromatic and um, it's totally white. And if you put it in the sun, um, you will see it. And there was this idea. We went upstairs to Kati and asked her, "Is it possible to do it?" Kati is the production lady, the print production lady, and she said, "Yes, theoretically." And um, so yeah, she she had heard of some ink and and yeah, it's available in the U.S. and you can print it on cans and on cloths. And so, so we said, yeah, but can we just print it on paper? No. So why? So then we asked again and again, and can we use different colors? No. Okay, only blue. Well, okay, that's a start. So let's get some stuff here. No, it's only available in the U.S. So we were like, okay, it's crazy. Why, 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 why is that? And um, so, is it invisible at all? No. So, yeah, please, can we just try it? Yeah, maybe. So basically, I was googling, googling all the time, and found out that some Swiss guys have has have, have this ink in, in in stock, and we organized a little little amount. And um, get the technical data, and they said, okay, it's only um, 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 done. Uh, uh, it's only uh, doable in 80 raster silicon printing, so really white raster. We did some layouts for that, so really big letters. Yeah, we, this were the time we thought we can we can we can have different colors. So this was the blue layout, and then we went to the printer, and printed it, and. It worked really, really well, but was not invisible at all. So the sun was away. We were just going in, and you can see a really, really good, good light, slightly yellow um, film on on the on the paper. So that was not good. Um, then the second time we went to the to the um, printing lab again. And there was this guy from the from the manufacturer always saying, "Yeah, you can't do this, you can't do that." And after two 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 um, hours, he was going away, and we were like, "Cool, 
well, because with no help at all, because he was only sticking to this standard thing. And then we changed everything. We just attenuated the color like 10 times to one, so really homo homeopathic. And um, we're, 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 we're mixing colors. He brought us the, the other colors then too. And um, some, some, um, I, I, and, and it was really getting, getting, getting dark and getting in the evening. And then I found a 120 raster, and I said, just come, come on, let's try this. Yeah? Because he always said the pigments are too thick, and he will, the, the, the silk screen will just not let them through. And as you see, it worked really, really good. Fine lines and just amazing, really sharp, sharp lines, and invisible at all. So this was in the evening, and we were very happy. And I have it here for you. So the last time in Barcelona, I heard, I showed it, and I saw it, and nobody else. So may, maybe you can see me. See? So this is a UV lamp. So in, in, in the sun, we see it later in the film, it's really uh, an incredible effect. You put it in and it's like a, like a movie out of, out of paper in your eyes. So it's, it's meant to be red in sunlight. So have a look inside with pictures. So we took this... Um, this thin line thing to uh, to, uh, to to hide the, the the effect even more because the, every 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 surface and every font you see there is um, is rastered in, in in lines, and made some 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 rasters by ourselves just to hide it even more. So all these circles and no no fonts at all. And we decided to, to go for infographics and, 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 and design it a really different on each page to, to give you a guidance through it, because it's not so easy to read. Um, um, and um, um, we wanted to, to give uh, their direction. So in the sunlight, it's perfect. But if you're inside, so we wanted to, to be sure for that. So just go through it. This is the roadmap they wanted to go to 2000, I don't know, 15 maybe, measuring time. Chapters were designed like that. And you see, we, we used this blue ink, and it was um, so such a pale aquarellic thing, and we really liked that. It was much, much um, um, nicer than, than the original color, we thought. And we mixed. Um, the blue and the yellow to, to green. And that was cool because they, they react different in a different speed, and um, that's a cool effect too. So printing invisibility is not so easy because the testing was really cool because we had only one color. We were here in the, in the, in the, in the um, printing. But then you have to have crop marks, and you have to, 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 to find these crop marks, and if they're invisible, you can't find it. And so we went outside, and then we decided, yeah, we, we print um, with a, with a, uh, with a uh, seeable color or a visible color, we print it on the outside, that you find um, your way through it. And binding invisibility, <laughs> not so easy at all. <laughs> But these guys are doing, doing it, so the bookbinder Ruffords, and yes, you're right, they are geniuses and they look like it. Um, <laughs> they're crazy, but <laughs> um, they helped it out really, really good, and we, we gave them um, a huge UV lamp that was, they, they can see what they are doing there. And for the cover, we had a huge discussion with them we, we, because we always wanted to, to have it lasered because we thought, yeah, the concept is about light, and so laser is brilliant light and we have to laser it and um, but it was not not looking good we tested it and um, we don't like it and um, then this blind embossing it's always yeah do it blind embossing but I think it's make, making sense because um, it's just as well no material it's just sun casting shadows and light and you see it just through light and there was another thing about it 
Um, the Speerschicht bottle. Do you know the Speerschicht bottle? There are not so many um, German words you should know, but Speerschicht bottle, that's a really, really strong and powerful word. Because I was always talking to Kadi, I want to have an envelope like, like it's a foil and, and it's, 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 it's protecting this thing. And she didn't find something that, that I was, was looking for. And some night I was Googling again and Googling and Googling and um, suddenly I was um, at this um, laboratory um, um, yeah, company that are um, have, uh, selling stuff for, 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 for labs, uh, so chemical labs and for um, IT solutions. And they have a Speerschichtbeutel. And the Speerschichtbeutel <laughs> <laughs> it's looking like that. You can vacuumize it, and by vacuumizing, the blind embossing comes through. So the first time we did it was at the butcher in our street, and he was like, what are you doing? You're coming to me and uh, vacuumizing books? <laughs> but yeah, thank you, Mr. Butcher, because <laughs> we send it out like that. Yeah, you can see a closer look. Yeah, so basically, theoretically, but let's see it in action. Solar energy is the main business of our client Austria Solar. That's why we thought about how we could put this energy to paper. The idea was executed using an innovative printing technology which was used for the first time in this context. We used environmentally friendly photochromatic colors which only become visible under insulation and disappear after two to three minutes without UV exposure. The mix ratio was of particular importance. The result? The first annual report powered by the sun. Its content remains invisible until sunlight falls on its pages. The Austria Solar Annual Report 2011. Powered by the sun. Yeah, and this leads to you, me to this place. <laughs> well, this was a night after this happened. Um, yeah, the first Grand Prix, this is the team. Diana, Matthias, Matthäus, Cosimo, Moritz, Christoph, the guy from Cannes, and, and me. It won some other awards. And was I, th I think it's still the, the most successful um, work that w that has been done award-wise from Service Plan. And what uh, makes me more proud, uh, because it's not so um, ha happened not so often, is we made it to the TEDx Chicago, and, and we were part of the Design Museum London and hands-on graphic design. So we had inquiries from all over the world. Yeah, let's send 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 us some some. Um, like we had an Excel sheet for a for, for th thousand contacts who just wanted to have this and yeah, but the, 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 there were only 250 ex, um, 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 issues, uh, no issues, no, ex books, books. <laughs> <laughs> so, and leads us and me to Portorush. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, and next year, yeah, it's the cruelty about advertising. The wolfers are holding for something new, and this was the call for entry the year after. So let's make something new. Yeah. <laughs> and this leads me to the to the last work. We're always joking um, while while doing um, this um, solar annual report. Um, next next work will be completely invisible. And because there was a lot of envy in, in Germany that we are so successful with this work, and I think the guys were like um, feeling like me, um, seeing Mike's work. They, as I said, oh fuck, I've always 
thought about some magic ink and you, you di did it and um, yeah, but then as a joke, um, we started thinking about yeah, the invisible mailing. And basically, that's, ah, it's here. <laughs> it's cool. It's fresh out of the printer. Yeah, bow. <laughs> We found some magician, and I think it makes sense. I like the idea. Think what, what, what do you think? Magie, die war schon immer da. Zauberei hatten schon als Kinder fasziniert. Das Wunderbarste sind die Reaktionen. Damals und heute noch genauso. Unser Theater gibt es jetzt schon seit acht Jahren. Und wir haben uns gedacht, dass wir die Magie die dort stattfindet, zu den Menschen nach Hause bringen. Und so kam die Idee mit dem Programmheft zustande. Normale Werbung, die landet in der Tonne. Aber unser Programmheft, das soll hier landen. Und deshalb haben wir es verzaubert. Wie genau das funktioniert hat, Sie wissen, dass wir darüber nicht sprechen. Aber so viel sei verraten, es besteht aus Kreativität, Ideen und ein bisschen Magie. Ich finde, das Ergebnis kann sich sehen lassen, denn wie Sie sehen, sehen Sie nichts. Hey, jetzt, jetzt mal ehrlich, wie hast du das mit dem Licht gemacht? Verrate ich nicht. Jetzt komm. Verrate ich nicht. <lacht> <laughs> so, this is my conclusive ideas are good, it's so nice having them and it's the, the brilliant moment when you look at each other and say, wow, this is cool and let's, let's do this, yeah, but then you have to do it, but otherwise, yeah, I'm looking at that mic again and um, <laughs> be angry about myself, that's not so cool. So, danke, thank you, voila. <laughs>You know, um, when you're judging advertising festival for seven years in a row, and then the guy comes up to the stage and just says, fuck, we want to do stuff like that, not <laughs> the stuff that we do. Uh, and that's the reason why we have Creative Mornings, because uh, uh, people like that come on stage and completely destroy whatever we do. We suck, he rocks, and <laughs> that's basically it. Um, so thank you for coming to our small country, Slovenia, uh, to show us lesson after lesson, project after project, how we should do it, you know, that perfectly. Uh, to dig in, uh, to be there, to do it, you know, just go all the way, like you say, have an idea, do it perfectly, not just do it because you had an idea. So, um, again, thank you. A nice applause again, because um, <laughs> this was just <laughs> beyond amazing. Um, I need to say a few words in Slovene. Uh, okay. Sorry about that. Um, no, I'm not gonna. He's not gonna understand what the fuck I'm talking about. Tkole, hvala da predsej se mora zahvalit najprej svoje ekipi da lahko spoh mamo Creative Mornings. To je deset prostovoljcev delamo tole za ston vsako, vsak mesec um, in ekipa je napisala nekje na sajto, ne bom jih našteval. Tole smo predvajali vživo, um, naš edini sponsor je delo, ki verjame, da lahko um, naše um, ideje ali oziroma pozitivne misli delimo naprej, ne morate verjeti, njih delijo in je to je super. Um, in, um, kaj ne rečem, jaz mislim, da um, najboljš, da se vidimo naslednji mesec v Ljubljani, in bomo imeli spet enega fajn gosta in to je to, to je to, dobro jutro, da ste smo zbudili, super, evo, hvala.